My name is Ryan Postel. I am co-founder of CodeStitch, the HTML and CSS only component library for web developers. There's no frameworks, no libraries, no dependencies, nothing to NPM install, no Tailwind, no Bootstrap. It's just HTML and CSS. And in this video, I'm just going to briefly go over everything that we offer on uh, it's, it's really easy to use. We just got this button to, to click to get code. It opens up the dialog box where you get your code for your HTML and CSS with your three CSS options, depending on your taste and what you like to use. Uh, and you can also save stitches uh, with this little star here. Let's, uh, let's add this one to our locksmith folder that we created, or we just create a new one. Um, let's call this painter. And we're going to create and save. So we go to our save stitches here. Uh, we have the one that we had originally and the one we just created. Uh, so let's say you have a, a client and you want to put together a website. You would just save the stitches in the order that you want them. Uh, and you have them all in your little folder here so that you can go down one by one, grab the navigation, get your hero, get your services, and you just get the code for each one, copy and paste, put it in your site, and you're done in just a few minutes. And then you just got to tweak and change content and images. Um, and we have the preview button here where you can click the button and you can preview it uh, before you use it. Try it before you buy it. And we can inspect, we can see how it responds, see it grow from mobile to desktop. Uh, so we can close this out. And then let's say, uh, let's say we don't want this folder anymore. Uh, let's just click this. We can edit the name or we can just delete it and it's gone. Uh, and over here on the left, we have our navigation in the order of the sections that you would put them in a website. This is the most optimal order for content structure and organization. We did it for you. So you notice here it starts with navigation, then your hero, services, uh, content, gallery, meet the team, steps. This is the order that you need to put them in. So depending on which sections you need, you can look at the order of our section to know where you put them in your website. So we, we've done that for you to help you make it uh, a lot easier to think about what do you need in a website? What, what do I need to put here? What content and where do I put it? We figured it out for you. And uh, one of the other main features we have uh, outside of just being a, a component library, we allow you to create your own component library. Uh, so up here where you see my stitches, if you upgrade to the freelancer account, you can create your own personal component library of your own code. Uh, so let's say you, uh, you, you have your own designers, you have your own team, uh, you code your own websites, and maybe you don't want to use ours for now, but you can create your own. So whatever websites you create, you can piece off and put them in your own little uh, section library here. So we got our heroes, we got pages, test. Uh, I created these two. Uh, and this is just part of your library. We can create a stitch and whatever you want to make, let's say we can add a new section uh, for test three. Okay, um, let's add a new category for test three. So test three. So that's gonna show up like test, test three. This is, uh, this is your category in here and then this is your section right here. And you notice we, uh, we have a little counter that tells you how many are in each category. Uh, you can tag it with tags to search and find it. You upload your display image, Figma URL. And let's say you don't use HTML and CSS. Let's say you use Tailwind and you want to save your own Tailwind components. Well, uh, we just add new code type. Let's just call this Tailwind. Uh, and it's going to be an HTML file. And when we create it, now we have our own little Tailwind box. So you don't even have to want to use HTML and CSS components. Maybe you like Tailwind or Bootstrap. You just create your own personal library of your own components so that you can use your own work over and over again. Because maybe you don't like the component libraries that, that use Tailwind. Maybe they don't have the designs that you need, so you have to make your own designs. Uh, but it's really hard to keep track of that code and, and try to reuse it. Well, that's what we're here for. If you upgrade to Freelancer, you can just search your own code just like this. It's a lot better than trying to save them all on a GitHub and uh, try to remember which... Uh, repositories have which designs. Instead, you can just view it visually, get your code, copy and paste. That's it. That's what CodeStitch offers. And our designs, our code, everything is done at the highest quality. Our, our code is handwritten by me. There's no AI that does it. There's no framework that does it. So every stitch I had to make by hand. 
and I did it with diligence, purpose, and efficiency. And I think that is something that is lacking in a lot of uh, free HTML uh, component libraries. And that's something that I took really seriously when we built CodeStitch. So this is the, uh, uh, the quick overview of CodeStitch. Uh, in other videos, we will be going over the code, what makes it unique, how to use it, uh, and, and everything you need to know about how CodeStitch works, how our code is written, and how to best use it most efficiently to make your work faster and easier. Uh, when I make websites with these, I can I can make a whole five page website in a couple hours, at, you know, with tweaks and asset optimization and and content. So those things take more time than actually building the site. But uh, this is Code Stitch, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy Code Stitch even more. So uh, thanks for watching, and you can sign up for your free trial. Every uh, every account when you sign up, you get a, a three day free trial, whether you sign up for pro or for freelancer, and you can just uh, try it out and, and see what we got and see if you like it, if it's something that you think would help you. And I hope it does. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the, in the other videos.